Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. So, <clears throat> in the last video, we escaped Jill's apartment with uh, Nemi on our ass, and there were a few problems with the video that I wasn't too happy with. The sound was very low, as was pointed out by H. Thanks for that. And uh, also, my microphone sounded really bad, and uh, that is a bug with Shadowplay, which uh, I have now fixed, I hope. So, let's continue. UBCS Ammo Crafting Guide USBS Ammo Crafting Guide on the battlefield If you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull And let me turn my heater off there, because it's probably really loud Handgun ammo is gunpowder times two Shotgun shells is gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder and mag ammo is high grade gunpowder times two once you're stocked up get out there and join the party let's leave those dead motherfuckers something to eat or let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat just make sure you don't become dessert yeah right let's go come with Jill I'm not sure about her new outfit or her old outfit you know I'm kind of tempted to go back to her new uh, her reimagined outfit for this game but I don't know so this is the demo area that we're now in it's gonna be interesting to see the differences I did actually go around in the demo and get all of the bobbleheads uh, which I got some help with from Chris thank you for your help uh, but I just have not had time to upload the video before the game came out so <clears throat> tabloid front page the cannibal murders a complete digest in the grey of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man, described as disleveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passer north of the Lamb's Monument of Art. The responding officers discovered that the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpster nearby, dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered. Suggesting she had been eaten, the third known incident of this kind to occur in Raccoon this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak, man flesh? Uh, we here at News Comments have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer, Mons uh, Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just settling in for just the cafeteria food. Our reports have infiltrated Spencer Memorial um, and ask the tough questions and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Ah, let's see. So there is murmurs of this happening. Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Reactivate the old uh, train station. Gotcha. Sounds like a reasonable request. Let's grab up some of this gear here. Oh, gunpowder. Um, yeah, I know. I've played Resident Evil before game. Once or twice. Uh, right. Lock boxes. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm not, I will give you guys some full disclosure. I have played the overwhelming majority of it. Well, that's not true. I've played probably about 40 to 50% of this game in different segments with my uh, missus because I helped her get through it. I haven't seen all of it, and I haven't seen the end of the game. So, I haven't seen the whole thing, and, and you know, there's still at least 50% of this that's going to be completely blind, so... Let's go. The UBCS Herb Field Manual. There is no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks to crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. If you want somebody to kiss your boohoo, go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds. <laughs> so get these recipes memorized, and that's just, yeah, how to make herbs. Got ya. Right, um, let's have a little look in here. Probably don't need that. Um... We will keep that. Okay, that's fine. We don't really need to save the game yet. Okay. 
looks pretty clear. There's still stuff in here. Yes, yes. Red means there's still stuff to find. Oh, it's probably that lockbox over there, I would imagine. And there's a puzzle there. Okay. All right. Well, let's go, Jill. Let's go to the mean streets of Raccoon. Uh, my dudes, if you come in here, it's safe. I mean, safe-ish. Gotta get that train moving. Indeed. Uh, hey, friend. Can you get out of my way? I have stuff to do. I need to get the trains running. Now, anything out here? I don't like the way map is M. I'm gonna have to rebind that. Hmm. Apparently there's nothing out here. That's fine. So we can't get into this... Oh, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the way. Good man. Ooh. More bullets. Good to see the bullets uh, in the same location, more or less. That's nice. Are we still going to get our friend popping out? Yeah, we go. Hey, sir. I'm going to have to relieve you. Oh, relieve you of your suffering now. And I'm afraid... Oh, damn. Two headshots in a row. Now, there is one thing that concerns me. Uh, my missus put this on easy mode or assisted mode by pure accident, which I actually did um, in the demo when I got all of the bobbleheads. Basically, if you die a couple of times, it will come up and ask you if you want to put on assisted mode. And it's so easy to just say yes by accident because you're skipping through it to, to continue. Um, and once you're on assisted mode, you can't go back, which is really a fucking dick move by Capcom. I'm not sure why they did that. And I've been playing so much Resident Evil 5 at the moment that I'm pushing the space bar Carlos, to get I the knife the out. Avenue. Which way do I go? You see a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. I love Jill's new personality. And I really like her voice. Her face is kind of strange. It's not bad. Um, it it works. She she looks good. But uh, hmm. I don't think she looks like Jill did in the originals. But as I said, it doesn't matter too much. Um, oh, we can't. Okay, I can't actually walk past that. I thought we could walk over that. I don't want to destroy all these barrels, you see. But maybe we'll pop that one to get rid of those guys. Let's grab the gunpowder. That's the same. Uh, do we? I guess we still need like the bolt cutters and things. No, that's locked. Okay. Intriguing. So, we also have stuff still here, apparently. <clears throat> I think there's stuff in there. I think there's some bullets in there. If I remember from the demo correctly. Alright. Oh, well, let's go. Hey, friends. Hey, love. Excuse me. I just want to get to the donut shop. If that's quite alright with you. I'm not asking for your permission, either. Right, you're gone. Not sure if we want to be taking out all these zombies. Because I'm not sure what the game is like for respawning zombies. But, I guess we're going to find out. I think we can handle one in this area. Although I'm pretty sure uh, they're not all dead. So, that's activated. That's cool. We ooh. Oh, I never knew that was that. Well, let's make some more bullets. Now the handgun does ooh, nice. The handgun does seem to be a fairly decent weapon. Uh, at least so far, so we're gonna roll with it for a while. Sweet. Ooh right. I remember these. Yeah. And I also know what you do with these. This was pretty obvious. I kind of guessed this right. But uh, I'm not going to ruin it for anyone. So. OK. 
Okay, so we've got another lock there. Okay. What have you got for me? Gunpowder. Um, we'll take the gunpowder. We'll put it in our box. Right, okay. I don't want to... Blast through too much ammo. Like, I don't know how generous this game is going to be with the ammo. I mean, it's Resident Evil, so... There's almost definitely going to be enough of the stuff. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, let's try and get these guys together. Hey, Fredo. Hey, Fredos. Come on. Can we get as many of you around here as possible, please? I'm going to barrel the lot of you. At least as many as I can. Uh, left one on his lonesome. Should be able to handle one on his own. As long as he doesn't get too touchy feely. And they are Resident Evil zombies. We know Resident Evil zombies do like to get touchy feely. Alright, you stay over there, sir. Be a good dude. And fuck off. Oh. Yeah, actually. I'm not sure how easy these guys are to knife. Uh, I don't know if I like you loitering around me, to be honest. No? Well, that worked, but I would wager he was pretty injured. Okay, cool. We have the bullets. How many bullets do we have? We've got 45. Nice. Alright. So, so far... Yeah, I remember you, sir. I remember you, sir. I guess he's gone. There's a barrel there, but... You know, fuck it. Yeah, you use the barrels. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, oh, hello. Oh God, uh, love. No, 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 no. Off, you bitch. Okay, so you can like knifing zombies is a legitimate strat. I guess. It, I mean, the knife in RE2 uh, remake was really OP. Um, so, yeah, we'll have it. In fact, yeah. Top us up a little bit. Yeah, the knife in uh, RE2 was a little bit OP. Um, and do I have a pen? I do, because I'm prepared. Right, so... Now this is different to the demo. So what we want is nine. With an arrow that way. And we want three. That way. And I can hear zombies behind me. Hey, friend. Oh, you. Sit the fuck down. That was sketchy. That was actually really creepy. I approve, game. Alright, let's get the flock out of here. If I just put my pen and paper back. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if that's randomised. I know it's different... Um, From the demo. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's different from the demo. The woman's not there. There's a female zombie there in the demo. Hey, sir. Come on. Oh, you snaky bastard. Got me on that lunge. Oh, nice. He's down. So, what have we got here? Ooh, our health is not fantastic, is it? 
Don't really need more handgun bullets. Drugstore owner's journal. August 24th. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. Stuff they make always works wonders. It's no surprise I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as the word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I thought to invest in a good safe uh, to hold all this cash that's rolling in. September 2. The new code safe is perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. Surely that's bad. Well, if you, you can't access the safe and your wife can. Anyway. Uh, a secret between me and my beautiful Aquacure Queen, and she will never give it up for a thief. Hmm. Yeah, even though you like writ it on the actual sign, which isn't very smart. So we want that. Then three. Then seven. Mm, nice. And okay, so we get the same thing that we got in the demo, which is kind of cool. I don't know if this actually makes a gun better. Gunsmith. I don't know if that makes the gun any better. Anything else in here? No. Uh, I don't know if it like raises the crit chance or anything like that. Uh, I, I would imagine it might, but I don't know for sure. So let's have a little look up here. And there are some zombies up here from the sounds of things. Yeah, there's some zombies up here. That's fine. Oh, damn it! Too much Resident Evil Five. Right, red herb. We'll have it. We've got so many bullets at the moment, you know. Might as well just roll with it. Don't really want to waste the ammo. Right, he's not actually active. Okay, 53. Cool. I want to keep some of these barrels around. For emergencies, you know. Right, so that leads us back down here, which is cool. That leads us back there. Right, okay. So, Jill. Oh, there's two of you now. I guess one of you survived. I know I was shooting you. I don't know. You know what? Sure. Let's drop these guys. Okay. Alright, he's dead. Alright, nice. Cool. Good stuff, Jill. Good stuff. So, donut shop is clear. Subway station has two things in it. That's uh, the puzzle and the lockbox. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. I know you're not in a very good way right now, Jill, but uh, we shall sort you out. Alright, we need the loppers for that. I'm trying to remember where you got the loppers, actually. I think <coughs> we got them in here, didn't we? We did. There should be a dude. There we go. Same as the demo. Ooh, nice. Happy with that. Now there's our hose. Uh, sure. So what we've got here, subway employees memo. <clears throat> Violence is getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits breaking point. Uh, locking it up in the gun rack. <clears throat> and I'll have to apologize guys, I'm getting really, really sick. Me and the missus both are. Uh, it's not Corona, I'm just really not very well. Um, uh, that should keep it safe from any would-be looters whilst I go out and try and find some more shells. 
If things go south, cut the chain and bust that uh, out that sucker. I pray we'll all make it out alive. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't. More gunpowder. Oh, damn. And a hand grenade. Um, 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 um. We need an item box. Let's go back to an item box because we are getting full. Okay, nobody jumping out on us here. At least the item boxes are fairly uh, tightly knit, so I mean that's quite cool. I like that. No Zeds around. Good. I'm guessing the Zeds aren't going to respawn for a little while. Uh, let's take... No, let's put you back. Do we need the knife now? I mean, probably... Ah, oh, it does save ammo though, doesn't it? Don't need the shells because we don't have a shotgun. That'll do for now. Better. Much better. Hmm. Now. Uh, yeah, so that's chained. So they haven't changed that. Oh, I remember where the bolt cutters were. Quiet phone. And we can't get, yeah, good, mm, okay. The bolt cutters in the demo were in that other store, but that other store is chained. So, hmm. Okay, so we can't grab anything there. What's through here? This must be the subway company's offices. Hmm, that does make sense, Joe. Oh. Donuts! Hello, Charlie. Donuts. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Kite Bros Railway Manual. Ensuring the safe subway operations. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operation. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segment will be used. If the route centered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Okay, so, puzzle. Huh, nothing. Okay, I'm guessing there's something else that we've got to do first. Well, we've got the hose, so... Okay. Oh. Huh. Sure, in the demo, some zombie burst through there. Right, so Donut Shop still has stuff in it, which is fine. We expected as much. Might go take a heal. Um, yeah. It's not brilliant, but it's better than we were. Gunpowder can go back for now. Store. We've got our nade. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape for now. Now, is Nemi still here? No, he's not. Because in the demo, this is where Nemi turned up. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I honestly was expecting him to show his ugly ass face. Alright. Yeah, because I think the bolt cutters were in there. Yeah, there we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Make this nice and easy. There we go. I want to profit off you. There we go. Take your medicine, my lad. Jill is now the master of stabbing. 
Now this should... Yeah, cool. So that's the way back. Actually, whilst we're here, guys... Let's go back. We've got so many bullets. Damn. Is this guy dead? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, we're almost on half an hour. It's a lot harder to time my videos on Shadowplay. Because... Right. Because um, I don't have a timer. So, right. Let's put that in there. Oh, that gives us stuff. So, okay. So, I guess that doesn't open a door. Which that similar puzzle kind of did in the original game. Okay. So, unless it opens a door when you put X amount of gems in there. I'm not sure. I guess we're going to find out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, we've got the hose on us, haven't we? So, we can go do that. Also, I can't see any of my volume levels and things either. So, I have no idea if this is coming out at a decent volume or anything like that. Shadow play. So many unknowns. There we go. Hose her down, Jill. Hose her down. Good girl. Alright. Now, in the demo, there was a bobblehead right up there, which was a bit of a dick move, if you ask me. It was a sly dick move, because if you move too far over here... Um, the demo ends. So, <gasps> nice. Oh, oh, this is a save room. Well, ain't that a cool winky dink? So we've got bolt cutters there. Hmm. So that leads to the garage. Is someone in here? Possibly. But unfortunately, guys, that's all we're going to have time for today, I think. I think we're on about half an hour. So, we're going to drop a save here. Um, <laughs> I've heard a lot of people disappointed with this game. I think it's fucking brilliant. I really do. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's like, it's going to be different, you know. It's, it's, it's not going to be the same as the original. The same as Resident Evil 2 was not the same game as the original. That is what it is, you know. It's a reboot, a reimagining, um, a complete remake. So, uh, it doesn't mean that the original Resident Evil 3 is shit now and not worth playing. It just gives you two options, you know, two different experiences. Um, but I, for one, and as I've said, there is a lot, a lot of this game that I haven't seen. I've just helped uh, my missus out in certain battles and certain hard bits, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and when she's got stuck. So, there's also probably a lot of areas that I haven't seen as well. But, this game's good. I'm enjoying it. Yes, it does seem to be a little bit more of a shooty, shooty game. Uh, and less horror. But Resident Evil was always action horror. Uh, and if anybody says that Resident Evil wasn't action horror, I'm sorry, you, you are wrong. Okay. Silent Hill was the the psychological, scary, creepy stuff. Resident Evil was the blast your way through a mansion with a shotgun, you know. Um, and I think they've captured that atmosphere. Could I understand why people were disappointed with this game? Yes, of course. Absolutely, I can. But it's a good, solid game. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.